From adorable miniature horses you could keep in your home, to curly-haired horses that could donate enough hair to make dozens of expensive wigs, here are 10 of the most unique horses in the world. Number 10. The Smallest Horses When you think of the most unique horses in the world, you may picture a tall, lean horse with a flowing mane and wild tail. But some horses, although smaller in stature, are equally as unique. A special breed, known as Miniature Horse, is by nature smaller than your average horse. But one known as Thumbelina is even smaller, standing at only 17 inches tall, that's 43 centimetres. Due to a physical condition called dwarfism, she is exceptionally small, even among others of her breed. The problem is dwarfism in horses causes problems with their legs, results in deformed skulls, and gives them a wider body, which can cause ongoing complications and be debilitating to the animal. Another miniature horse known as Einstein from New Hampshire was born smaller than Thumbelina, but he does not have dwarfism and is instead a healthy miniature horse. Taller than Thumbelina, he is in fact the smallest stallion in the world, measuring at only 14 inches tall, that's 35 centimetres. Sadly, Thumbelina passed away in 2018, but another horse of small stature has been making waves. A miniature Appaloosa from Poland named Bubble is just 22 inches tall, that's 56 centimetres. But Bubble doesn't let his newfound fame go to his head. He visits a local children's hospital once a month to cheer up the young patients. What do you think of these tiny, cute stallions and mares? Would you ever adopt one? Do you prefer it to a dog or cat? I think a pet miniature horse would be a lot of work, but might be well worth it for an animal lover. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. While you're there, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. There are always awesome new videos coming out with facts you'll be glad to know, and you won't want to miss even one. Number 9. The Tallest Horse From the smallest horse, we meet the tallest horse, Big Jake, who was crowned the world's tallest horse in 2012 by the Guinness Book of World Records. A draft horse from Belgium, Big Jake weighed in at a whopping 240 pounds when he was just a foal. When he reached the age of 7 or 8, his owners realised they had a very special horse on their hands. Compared to an average horse that measures about 50 inches or 1.25 metres tall at the shoulder, Jake's height of 60 inches or 1.5 metres is what sealed the deal with the record books. But his size didn't make him any different. In fact, he was very affectionate with the family who owned him and loved it when they paid extra attention to him. Number 8. Japanese and Chinese Horses Another breed in Japan known as the Noma Pony is extremely rare and centuries old, coming from Mongolian horses from the 17th century. At one time, it was illegal to breed small horses, which caused the Nomas to almost go extinct. As adults, these horses stand about 40 inches or 1 meter tall, and a breeding society that was established in the late 1970s took steps to preserve this rare species. Deep in the heart of Southern Asia, a different breed known as Guachia is one of a few known horse breeds native to China, and is one of the smallest horses bred in that country. Their name, which means under the fruit tree, comes from their common use in orchards. Found standing under the fruit trees as farmers picked them up and put them in baskets, the ponies were carried around the orchards. The breed was believed to be extinct up until 1981, when some reappeared. With a small head and ears and short neck, they come in bay, grey and roan colours. Found in various counties in China, the ponies are good for children riding and driving, and are easily moved around in rocky environments. Some statues from 2000 years ago are believed to depict these rare horses, demonstrating just how old they are. Number 7. Sooty A particular gene in horses known as the sooty or smutty causes black hairs to grow with the regular coats of the animal. Resulting in counter shading, dappling and even striping, the feature is sometimes seen in lighter animals with cream dilution. The darker striping and shading can also come out at certain times of the year. Some wonder whether this colouring comes about as a primitive striping found in dark palominos and dark bay horses. Known as counter shading or colour modifiers, these darker tones can show up in smudges, patches, stripes, spots or even dabbles. Found in both chestnut and black bases, the colouring is believed to be passed on genetically, though researchers are not sure how and why it is so dominant in some over others. Number 6. Leopard Appaloosa one look at the Leopard Appaloosa and you will see that it is a truly unique breed of horse. Spotted horses have existed since before horses were domesticated, and they fell out of favour in Europe for centuries before the breed was brought to North America. The most high profile breed, the American Appaloosa, is just one of many breeds that have these patterns. The most familiar characteristic Appaloosa patterns are the full leopard pattern that consists of holes in the white spotting rather than dark spots on the horse's coat colour. There are two genes that are involved in the formation of Appaloosa patterns, one that controls the presence or absence of Appaloosa characteristics, and another gene that modifies the appearance of the pattern. Number 5. Blue Roan The Blue Roan is a rare colour found in some horses. 
It starts with the foal, who has to have black legs, a genetically black body and roan, which is a horse's coat colour pattern that has an even mixture of coloured and white hairs on the body. With equal parts coloured fur and white fur, roans with a blue colouring are instantly recognisable. With a 50-50 mix of white and black hairs, they are not actually blue, but a horse with a dark black base. The mix of both black and white hairs gives a blue-hued appearance, which is where it gets its name from. The main, tail, head and lower legs of the roan can either have less white hair or can be entirely absent. Always roan at birth, blue roans can sometimes be born solid black and shed their baby coats to reveal the roan colour. They are sometimes mistaken for Sabino or grey horses. True blue roans do not have any patterns and their colour is consistent. Even though it can change during the seasons, it doesn't get more grey or white as time goes by. They also have different genes, and interestingly enough, inherited genes don't skip generations, meaning two non-roan parent horses can't produce a roan baby. Some grey horses, when they are foals, often look roan instead of grey, but grey horses must have a grey parent. So, if your foal has at least one parent that is grey, it is probably not a roan horse. Although they can be rare, there are a few varieties of breeds that can produce true roans, including European draft breeds like the Italian Heavyweight and the Rhenish German Cold Blood. More common in North American breeds, they are found in quarter horses, standard breeds and even mustangs. Two famous roan horses include Royal Blue Brune and Blue Valentine, two horses who ran in races in the 1950s and 1980s. A beautiful horse that is a bit of an optical illusion, the blue roan really is a special breed. Number 4. Tobiano Another unique pattern found on horses is the Tobiano coat, with large, rounded white spots on the body and white legs. The horse also has a dark coloured head. Wondering how horses like the Tobia now get their unique colouring? It is the result of a deletion of colour. Their coat is due to an inversion of chromosomes. The best recognised of all white patterns on horses, they are closely related to Pintos. The name of the coat patterns comes from where they appear on the horse's body. Most markings on Tobianos are on the chest or neck. Part of the larger American paint horse breed, Tobianos are well muscled and so versatile. They are used in competitions, to work farms and for trail riding. Would you want a Tobiano? Let me know in the comments below. Number 3. Bashkir Curly One look at the Bashkir Curly haired horse and it's easy to see why they turn the heads of anyone who sees them. An ancient breed, there is still a lot of mystery surrounding them and where they come from. Because of that, they have been talked about everywhere from North America to China and even Russia. Some Native Americans were believed to have told stories of a curly haired horse of the Battle of Little Bighorn, with supposed photographic evidence supporting these tales. In China, curly haired horses were depicted in art as far back as 16 AD. But could the horse have originated in Russia, where a photo of a curly haired horse was found, leading people to believe the animal has Russian origins? Wherever they are from, they are said to have originated from a stock of wild horses, with the Sioux people believing them to be a sacred animal, reserved for chiefs and medicine men only. If you have always wanted to ride or own a horse but you are allergic, then the curly horse is for you. They are missing a specific protein in their hair, which makes them hypoallergenic. Their curly coats can sometimes shed completely in summer, leaving them completely bald. Either way, with a unique coat and in colours from beige to blacks, and with both patterns and dilute colours, the curly is a unique breed. Number 2. Nabstrupper Relatively new in North America, the Nabstrupper is a breed that has been well established in Denmark since 1812. The first, a chestnut mare with leopard spotting, produced a colt who had even more noticeable spots. Later bred to a number of other horses, the mare and her sire produced many offspring with the same stunning spotting and established a new breed in the process. The North American breed has the same colour genes as those from Denmark, but after so many years of crossbreeding, it's hard to tell if there are any true nubstruppers left. After nearly dying out in the mid-1900s, three Appaloosa stallions were brought to Denmark to add new bloods to the breed. The American breed came from one of three Appaloosa mares who were mated with a European stallion. Some believe one of the mares, who had a particularly energetic and friendly nature, is said to be the reason the breed is so mild-mannered. Three distinct types of nubstrapper have developed, including one bred for sport, one to drive carriages and to serve on military duty, and smaller ponies who work well around children. But they have also developed a number of different variations in colouring, including evenly distributed leopard spots, frosted colouring or spotting, marbling, and some with just a few spots. While they may still be popular today, a cave painting in France that goes back more than 25,000 years shows a very similar horse with striking resemblance to today's nubstrapper. It seems that the nubstrapper has long been a prized horse. Number 1. Fjord the creamy coat of the Norwegian Fjord horse makes it one of the most recognisable horses in the world. But that's not the only thing it is known for. They also have a compact body and a distinct flowing mane. 
They are considered one of the oldest and purest breeds that migrated to Norway over 4,000 years ago. Even though 90% of the breed are the striking brown dun colour, there are a few extremely rare colourings, including the extremely rare yellow dun, which can have a completely white mane and tail. Most horses have some form of white markings, but the Fjord horse rarely does. Sometimes they do have a small star mark, but if they have one or more marks, they are considered not acceptable for breeding. They get their status as being one of the purest breeds after evidence was found of over 2,000 years of breeding. The evidence was found while excavating Viking burial sites, and there was no crossbreeding from other horses. They are so prized that they are found on the coat of arms of two municipalities in Njörfjör, Norway. A strong breed that is relatively small to other horses, they are agile and often used as light draft horses. They are also popular in use for therapeutic purposes, for children with disabilities and in therapy. Sadly, when a few generations were crossbred in the 1800s, the breed nearly died out. But luckily, after seeing undesirable traits appear, like fierce temperament and unattractive colouring, the crossbreeding was stopped and the Fjord horse regained its place at the top of the horse world. Thanks again for watching everybody! What is your favourite horse from today's video? Tell me why in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you can stay updated on all the newest content coming out. See you next time!